All right, time for the first actual mission of the game. You got protect the world starship. Now, unfortunately, these uh, these screens don't give you any context, so it's like you're reading these bonus goals, and it's like, uh, okay, destroy Merc Daggers in under one minute. Uh, okay, sure. Bravo Seven, welcome to the Queen's Escort. We're approaching the Trade Federation rendezvous ship. Stay close. Strange location for a meeting, if you ask me. I don't trust the Trade Federation. I'm picking up several new craft in the area. They're approaching fast. The Trade Federation fleet is leaving the area. Let them go. We will deal with them later. Let's get out of here. It's too dangerous. The mercenaries are targeting us. It's up to you, Bravo Flight. Unidentified craft. Power down, or you will be fired upon. Let's get him, boys. Alright, so I gotta take out these guys in under a minute. Morning Star, where are you? I'm trying to, but you're killing them too fast. I gotcha. Yeah, I come from like a Star Wars Galaxies background, so I'm like kinda used to it. I'm like, like I, I'm kind of spoiled by Star Wars Galaxies. I mean, because like that game was kind of like tailor made for, for PC, whereas this game was, uh, was not obviously, you know, inverted flight controls and nonsense like that. So, you know, what are you gonna do? And and granted, this game, this PC port came out in 2001. And um, the jump to late speed expansion didn't come out till like 2004, so let me get closer. Though they might have had like X-wing and tu and uh, the Tie Fighter games to work from, so I'm not sure how the controls were on that. But um, yeah, I don't know. Keep those fighters tied up. The Queen's ship is preparing for hyperspace. Still, it's kind of inexcusable. We'll take cover in those asteroids. Good. It'll be easier to protect you in the midst of them. The new craft are targeting us. Get them. More fighters coming out of the asteroid. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting them. Stop attacking up the Naboo whatever ship, assholes. More fighters dead ahead. Take them down one at a time. I'll shoot a missile at them. You afraid of me already? Oh, don't get hit by them though. I should probably put it into third person view. How do I do that? Um P no. Incoming! Unidentified craft. Oh, easy credit. I'm not sure. I know that you can though. Yeah, just fly fly in formation. That'll save you. Though in uh in the expand universe, the reason people Bravo 10, where are you? They're coming in waves. You got, got you have nothing attacking you. Jeez. NSF. Yeah, in the expand universe, the the reason people fly in formation, like in in space, is because is because like their shields overlap and actually like makes them stronger essentially. Rather than just like flying alone, so that's that's kind of cool. I mean, not in this game, obviously, but hmm. you know, it, it's kind of cool that they pay attention to that kind of detail. Because it's like otherwise, why why would you fly in formation? Oh, almost, I almost rammed that guy. And you don't you don't need to target them if you don't want to. Like you can just kind of like free shoot them. Though it's kind of harder, obviously. Where am I? Did I just like crash into that guy to death? <laughs> I think I did. Ace pilot wrist dollars. I still want to know how do I how to go to third person view. Still not sure. Um. Yeah, it's probably probably not a good idea to mess around with that right now. 
Are you are you almost into jump Life's position? Stay on those fighters. Hey cadet, we'll let you live if you leave now. Why is one of the jump positions in an asteroid field, anyways? You think that you would not want to put your p jump position right there? I don't know, maybe the navigational charts like drifted or something, and that just happens to be where it is now. Still. The Royal Starship is preparing for the jump to hyperspace. Hyperspace jump aborted. New craft in our path. Bravo flight give us time to reroute. Also, if you're in danger, why can't you just like Oh, we got new ships now, Dianogos. These guys are uh These guys are pretty damn tough. They shoot lots of shit at you. Lots of crap, sorry. And it's just not a good time if you take them head on. Because they will destroy you, essentially. Fun fact, Dianogos are those uh, trash monsters from A New Hope. The, the ones with the one eye, like in the trash compactor. That's what a Dianoga is. God, how many... You'd think they would break off the attack by now. They lost, like, 50 guys. Like, how valuable... Well, I guess it is the Queen, so... Yeah, I guess, like... You'd think they wouldn't just be casually throwing away this many of their dudes, though. It just doesn't seem very, um... Fit in the whole self-preservation kind of thing. I need to get closer to this guy. Whoa. Also, there's no leading. You just kind of shoot at them and you hit them until they die. You know, a game like um, huh, Star Wars Galaxies, for example, like it would have a target targeting reticle. Keep it up, Bravo Flight. We're doing our best here. Well yeah, done, shut up, Bravo dude. Flight. Initiating jump into hyperspace. All clear. Uploading coordinates now. Nice oh, okay. The Royal Starship has Bye. escaped. Where are you, Asara? Hey, where are you? How do I target friendlies? I've forgotten all of the controls. Sorry. Bravo Seven, I need your help. I can't shake this one. I'll get it, Bravo Ten. Let me put a stop to your futile efforts. Huh? Sorry, no. Now it's your turn. You asshole. You know, I, I could have turned around, like, lickety split and kicked your ass. Anyways, I didn't destroy all the Merc Daggers in, in under a minute. Um, I don't know, I'll, I'll go back and do that some other time. Anyways, on to the next mission.